Whoa! Whoa! Damn! I gotta do that again. October 2014, the rock skip heard round the world at Edmonds Lake goes viral. The man behind it, YouTuber Corey Williams, formerly known as Dude Like Hella. He arrived in Alaska in the summer of 2014. Since he's had countless adventures, got married, became a dad. This morning, he's getting set to say goodbye. Joining us on the couch one last time, viral vlogger Corey Williams to tell us where he's headed and what he'll miss most about Alaska. Good morning, Corey. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so sad. This is so sad, but at the same time, it's a very happy thing. So we are heading to Oklahoma. Heading to Oklahoma, got to be near family, because now that we've got our baby girl, Chell, uh, you know, we, we want her to be raised around family. And as much as I love Alaska, and, and many Alaskans have become family to me, you know, we've got to go to our roots a little bit, and then come back every year and do the tourist thing. And there you go. <laughs> Family's number one. Yes. What will you two be doing in Oklahoma? Uh, in Oklahoma, everything. I mean, life is about exploring. Life is about adventure. And, and that's, you know, not going to be any different out there. I want to explore. And now that we're going to be in the lower 48, centralized, we can drive to a whole bunch mm -hmm. of different places and really give Chell the education that she needs to understand this beautiful country that we are a part of. So you've had so many adventures, speaking of here in Alaska in the last three years, what, uh, you know, what really stands out for you? What really stands out for me are, uh, it, it's really the adventures that, the experiences that, that I never saw coming, the ones that I never expected. I had so many things on my bucket list uh, here in Alaska checked off that I didn't even know were there to begin with. And being that Alaska is the last frontier, there are so many amazing things uh, to find, to see, to do that, you know, like, like, for example, the video you're seeing now, it's me climbing to the top of one of these beautiful mountains out here up in the Shugash. And uh, we just had so many great experiences. It's like at one point it was like snowing Dippin' Dots and then it got really hot. And then there was this like a thousand foot sled, like a snow sled that we took all the way down to the bottom. And this was all on a day where I didn't feel good. I was not feeling good about myself, my body, and I, I just conquered it. You know, I, I felt great. And that's, that's what Alaska did. It, re did. It, it really empowered me and helped me to grow as a person and also sort of humbled me a little bit, you know. And um, for that, I'll be forever grateful for Alaska. Another beautiful moment that surprised you and a highlight, I'm sure, when you were up here going along in the Iditarod. And you oh. got lost in Ruby. Yes, I did. The, uh, the uh, Ruby, it was, uh, the whole trail was amazing, but there was this one point uh, where, I, where I was just walking on my own, and it was like, mine is something, something cold, right? Uh -huh. And I came across these two boys, and these two boys were playing, and, and I, I, thought, uh, I thought, wow, dude, we do have a video of that? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh there gosh. you go. Yeah, so, so you're lost right now. Yeah, so we're, <laughs> so we're walking, and, um, you know, I come across these two boys just playing, flipping in the snow, and... And uh, I thought, wow, that's just so much fun. You know what? I'm going I'm to let my youth out a little bit. So, of course, I take my time, and I'm like, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, too. You know, and I played with them, did my flip, and, uh, you know, there we go. Whoop. Boom. <laughs> I got some snow <laughs> in my form. suit, but I didn't care. But what was great about this is right after I was done, these two boys came up to me, and they introduced themselves. And just in such a, a, a formal, beautiful little way. And, and I can't really describe the feeling that I had. But right there, that's, I think his name was Vernon. Um, they were so polite. In these small villages, everybody, it takes a village, you know, to, to do everything. And, and they're so polite and so family-driven. And when I saw this, it kind of really impacted me saying, you know what, this is, this is what life is about. It's about community. It's not about me. It's not about how can I get ahead in life. It's about all of us together. And, and just that simple act of the little kids saying, hi, I'm Vernon. Like, he didn't have to do that. I don't know. It's, it, it was different to me. The, the villages gave me a lot of good, positive feelings. And I uh, just thank you to all the villages along the Iditarod Trail. And we're slowly running out of time, but it, really one video kind of, kind of changed your life uh, in a big way while you're here in Alaska and changed uh, really how you do things in general. Uh, and that was this um, announcement that uh, you guys were going to have a baby. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was Kristen doing that amazing pregnancy announcement. And, of course, um, I have been the most proud daddy ever since. And every day um, I'm more and more proud of my, my beautiful wife and my beautiful little girl, Chell Marie. This is kind of when uh, you went from Dude Like Hell to, to Corey Williams, this is when the I family changed. man. And this, this yes. is now Live Each Day. That's yes. what the, the page yeah. has become. Yeah. And, again, I, I do thank Alaska for um, helping me grow and helping me see the world just a little bit different. And um, one thing I would like to say uh, leaving this state is uh, everybody needs to get out more. 
experience. Be a part of the community. Get out and, and do some social events. In the wintertime, don't just stay home and watch television. Go do something. Be active. Make friends. Because there's so much more in Alaska that people know. Um, it's just, it's a, this is an amazing place. Let it be. Experience life. Get out there. Well said, man. If you had a mic, you should drop it right there. <laughs> we thank you for your time for those early mornings that you came on in to share your adventures. And, of course, you can keep up with Corey on his new adventures on YouTube, Live Each Day. Uh, we'll leave it to you to say goodbye like you know how. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you when you see you. Goodbye! <laughs>